Now then, long time no see. I've not made a video for a while. Um, not been out in the hills playing radio. A uh, couple of reasons. We've had some really nasty storms lately. Horrible. And sheer laziness. So one of those things I can do something about and the other that I can't. But I do plan to get out again soon. Those that watch my videos will notice predominantly I do VHF when I'm out on the hills. I've got some HF antennas that I'm looking forward to trying out now. So future productions will include HF as well as VHF. I'm not about to abandon VHF. Um, today, short video, I hear people comment, um, I see things on various forums, on social media, about people that want to get into data modes, or digital modes as some people call it. Love or hate them, they've been around forever, aren't they? From the early stuff, uh, Olivia, RTTY, PSK, through to the more recent stuff, uh, JT65, JT9, um, FT8, FT4. The pros and cons, a few pros and cons rather. One of the pros is, using data modes, you can ha run low power, you can have modest antennas, and you can work things. Okay, one of the big pluses is, uh, if you're at home in the shack, or your little radio room, and the rest of the house is sleeping, you can work things without disturbing anybody. Okay, you can be sat at your computer, um, you're not using a microphone, you're not shouting to Q, you're not tapping away on a Morse key or a paddle. You can sit in peace and quiet and you can work some bits and bobs. Um, the cons, they can be quite tricky to get your software and hardware uh, working, talking to each other. It's not over difficult. I were lucky really, because a few of us got interfaces in the same year, 2006. And we, we got the same model interface, We've, we helped each other set, set these things up and get them up and running. I could receive, but I couldn't transmit. And speaking to a friend online says, you need to just open this menu and put a little tick in a box. Try that, Chris. And oh well, that's it. I've had loads of fun since. So I like them. <sighs> it's a little bit annoying. People go crazy about FT8, which is one of the, the, latest, the latest modes. You can often tune around the bands, you can hear very little on CW, very little on voice. On SSB you get to the FT8 frequency and the frequency is rocking. For some it's the be all and end all, I'm afraid. Um, last year sporadic E season, I think to work two stations on 6 metre single sideband on 50 megs and I called my socks off. Uh, sometimes you could hear the beacons or a little bit of CW, barely anything on SSB. Again, you get to the to the FT8 frequency and it were bouncing. Big signals on there. And it's people taking advantage of using this weak signal stuff. I understand that. Um, but some seem to have forgotten they've got a microphone as well. Or a CW key. So, let me show you the interface that I use. It's a ZLP data link interface. Now, I'm not saying rush out and buy one of these. This is just what I use, okay? This is just giving you an idea. I've got two transceivers here, two Yesu FT817s. This one I use for HF, this one I use for VHF, UHF. Um, so I can be on my, my HF set, I can be working a few stations, the other radio I might be monitoring the local repeater, or 145500, the two metre calling frequency. Um, and a friend calls up and says, hey Chris, shall we go, shall we send some pictures on two metres on uh, on, a, on MMSS TV, send some images. And I says, well, okay then yeah, we'll, we'll QSY there, we'll do that. I don't have to mess about at the back of the radio swapping cables over. There's only two buttons on the left hand side of this, this interface, one's obviously the power button. The other button on the side, a simple press of a button and that will now send and receive audio to that radio instead of that one okay so I don't have to mess about swapping cables over 
it's really really simple I'll just take a close look at this interface okay so that's the ZLP electronics data link interface that I use if you decide to get one of these ZLP um, interfaces all you have to do is basically connect it to your computer obviously with the power turned off or your PC or your laptop connect the interface up switch the interface on boot your PC and it should put in the drivers automatically the 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 next button is what I explained earlier this is currently connected to my HF radio simple press of a button it will then send and receive audio to my VHF UHF radio the other controls simple enough receive and transmit okay this will lower the level of receive this one the level of transmit good thing about these interfaces as well is you, you saw that I have the Yesu FT817 transceivers if I decide to buy a different model of transceiver I don't have to buy a new interface it's simply buying a cable it's it's a DIN cable that goes from the interface to the back of the radio okay I don't have to shell out for a new interface just simply have to buy a cable built-in sound card in this one high quality sound card uh, works very very well never had uh, never had a problem with it absolutely fantastic bit of kit. And this is my SSTV website. Um, images that I've sent, images that I've received. Uh, the top three, my latest TX, second last TX, third last TX, so they're the last ones I've sent. These are the ones I've received. Um, these last ones from the International Space Station, as it was going over. More images there. Um, I had my computer set up though when people send an image it automatically uploads to this website so I had some good fun with this with MMSS TV so that's basically it for this one chaps um, I hope you do get decide to get involved in, in data modes you can have some great fun uh, as I said earlier I'm not saying rush out and buy the ZLP interface um, although they are very very good good value for money if, if you use a different interface, just leave it in the comments below. Just put a comment what you use and, and, and if you've had any success, etc. Because it's all about helping each other, isn't it? Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you on the waterfall, as I say, on the data mods. 73 Chris, M0RSF.